Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co-host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. Today, we're going to be talking about wheelbarrows and garden carts. We'd like to thank Tom Lancaster for liking and sharing the podcast. So the term wheelbarrow, it's the barrel part is B-A-R-R-O-W, mm-hmm. and it comes from an old term, bear, so like carry a load, to bear a load. Right. And the first wheel was invented in 3500 B.C., <laughs> And the earliest archaeological evidence of wheelbarrows is around 100 A.D. in China. And there's stone carvings of people using wheelbarrows. Hmm. And you know what the coolest thing is? No. In Hungary, they have an annual wheelbarrow Olympics. No way. So they they have solo and team events. Hmm. So they're racing each other with somebody in a wheelbarrow. (laughs) So if you're a new homeowner or you're thinking about redoing your landscaping or starting a garden or gardening, a wheelbarrow really makes it convenient to move this stuff around, easy to throw stuff into it, and then it really makes the job lighter. If you're doing something like landscaping and you're you're putting all new bricks in, Mm -hmm. you can load this up and move it a lot easier Mm -hmm. than lifting each individual item. Well, for putting down mulch, for putting down dirt, for removing dirt, like if you're putting in a pool. Right, yeah, or or if you have stuff delivered, like if you have bags of soil delivered or mulch Mm -hmm. or, or even bulk, it's nice to shovel it into this and then move it to where you want it. Firewood, it's convenient to load up and move around. Mm-hmm. The basic style wheelbarrow is one wheel, mm-hmm. so it's at the front of this bucket. So like when you think of a wheelbarrow? You think of one wheel. Yes. But but they have two wheel wheelbarrows. There's a lot of different types of wheelbarrows. They have now. three wheels, which, yeah. I, which I don't consider those a wheelbarrow. They That's a are. cart. Once it gets past two wheels, I think it's a cart. It says who? It says me. In fact, one wheel is a wheelbarrow. What would you other say? It's a wheels? Wheels, wheels barrow? Wheel. <laughs> So the bucket itself, or, or so some companies are going to call this a bucket or a tray or a bed mm-hmm. or a tub or a pan. So you're going to see a lot of different references to the main body of mm-hmm. a wheelbarrow. And this bucket is usually oblong, so it's kind of oval in shape and it's sloped for easy dumping. Mm-hmm. And then it's low in front, so this weight is going over the wheel and the... The one wheel. The, <laughs> the one wheel. And the handles, they work like a lever and the, and they go down to the axle of the wheel. And mm-hmm. so that axle is working like a fulcrum. So it's pretty amazing the amount of weight that you can lift right. very, very easily with mm-hmm. a wheelbarrow. So it really makes it convenient for all your yard projects. If you haven't used a wheelbarrow before, this takes some practice. <laughs> yeah, it could be a little wobbly. Well, yeah, and don't overload it because you're going Absolutely. to spill it. Yeah, well, that's kind of the key. And put your load forward, too. You want that weight over the wheel, mm-hmm. and that's what's going to give you that kind of lever action so you can lift a lot. Or I think most people put it in the back because right, it's like which deeper. Is, yeah, yeah. It, in fact, if, like, if you're loading up soil in there, mm-hmm. there should really be almost empty towards the back, and mm-hmm. all of the weight should be towards the front. Or if you're loading landscape bricks, get them all towards the front. Maybe a Otherwise, few towards the front. it's not the... going to make it to your destination. <laughs> right. Well, it's hard to lift. Mm-hmm. And when you're lifting, one of the tricks when you're using a wheelbarrow is if you kind of keep your arms straight at your sides mm-hmm. and balance it like that, it's much easier, I've found. Mm-hmm. Because if you're trying to lift it and horse it like with your biceps and your arms, it's... And your it's... grimy little chicken muscles. Right, for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's very difficult. So <laughs> you want to bend your legs, keep your back straight so you don't hurt your back, and then just kind of using your legs, lift straight up, keeping your arms at the at your sides, mm-hmm. and then just walk forward. and Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> And one Don't of the, run. One of the tips. Unless you're racing. One of the yeah, <laughs> one of the tips is when you're before you load it is is kind of point the wheelbarrow in the direction you're going to go because it's of backing it's, up and yeah because it's t- the first yeah the first couple of times you turn with it because they're very maneuverable. One wheel mm-hmm. is fantastic for maneuverability, but it's it's definitely awkward. So I would say point it to where you're going, load it with the load in front, and then with your arms straight, you'll start to get a feel for balancing it. And be prepared, if you have a heavy load, to just let go and get out of the way if it starts to tip. Mm Because you can really hurt yourself if you try to hold on to that. With wheelbarrows, you can get metal or plastic buckets. Mm -hmm. And metal is going to handle heavy loads and take more abuse. Let's say you're dropping landscape bricks into this. Metal is going to hold up much better. Plastic is lighter, and you don't have to worry about corrosion. But they can crack under heavy loads. Sometimes they flex, too, Mm -hmm. under a heavy load. And impact. So if you're whipping those bricks into there, you can you can crack the, the plastic. And then also you have to worry about freezing temperatures with plastic. 
if you're thinking about plastic, make sure you look at it because you have thick and thin plastic. Some are rated very mm -hmm. high in the plastic, but you know they're more expensive. And if you're going to be using this wheelbarrow for farming, for farm work, Animal waste can corrode the metal. Plastic's much more resistant. Mm. When you're looking at the size, think about the space you have for storage. You know, when yeah. you have a little garage <laughs> or if it's in the garage. And then the spaces you're going to be using it. Some people don't think about the gate opening, which I found in this last house. So I had built the gates already. Uh -huh. And I came in, so I have a gate on the side of the house and a gate in the backyard. Because uh -huh. there's a, a, there was a parking lot to the back of this house. And so the back gate was really wide. So I brought this new wheelbarrow in there, but it wouldn't go through the gate on the side of the house to get into the front yard. So think about openings, the width between uh -huh. buildings, your landscape areas, and the, get a tape measure. Yeah. Well, where you're going to store it, too. Right, exactly. Because it's kind of, what do you do with it? It's, it can be big. I share a lot of mistakes, don't I? Yeah, people should be looking to us for advice. <laughs> what not to do. <laughs> Listen to those two. Yeah. You'll know exactly what not to do. On your wheelbarrow, you can get solid rubber wheels, pneumatic tires. So what does that mean? They'll have an inner tube like a bike tire. Mm -hmm. You can get semi-pneumatic. So some of these will have an air pocket through the center of the tire, or they'll have a, a, a bunch of air pockets inside the tire. Mm -hmm. And these you don't have to fill. You can also get foam-filled. So these are solid polyurethane foam. Interesting. <laughs> and then some companies call these foam tires flat-free tires. Mm -hmm. With solid rubber, it's usually less expensive and it won't go flat, but it mm -hmm. doesn't absorb the shock or it's not, it's going to have a hard time riding over rough terrain. Mm -hmm. So a pneumatic tire is going to absorb that shock and it's much easier to push. Hmm. And with the pneumatic tires, you want to make sure that you're always checking it because you want them really full. Once they start to get right. you know, deflated a little bit, it, it doesn't push as well. And yeah, then, then it's you, not so much a wheel then, is it? <laughs> yeah. And then you can also pop them easier. Mm -hmm. With these semi and foam filled or semi pneumatic and foam filled, they're going to give you a little bit of the shock absorption and they never need inflating. Hmm. You can get replacement tires too. Yes, absolutely. All these you can replace. Almost all wheelbarrows you can replace the tires. But you should probably know the size. Right. <laughs> yes. With the two wheel style of wheelbarrow, the so called wheelbarrow? Carts. It's, they're more stable, but they're a little less maneuverable. And some of these will have a U-shaped padded handle. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are up higher, though, so it's a whole different feel lifting it. Where I like the handles that are down low, so you kind of lift it and keep your arms straight. Right. So I would say kind of get a feel for it in the store. Right, test it out. Put Mo some, something in there. Right. <laughs> Pull some stuff off the shelf. <laughs> Most of the two-wheel are going to have a squared-off front, so it's easy to dump, but it can only be dumped forward, where hmm. a single-wheel wheelbarrow can be dumped at a variety of angles, so you can come off yeah, to the side. Yeah, when you don't want it to be dumped. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then get out of the way. <laughs> you can get folding wheelbarrows. Oh, really? So if you have limited space and you're just doing light loads, so you're just doing light gardening mm -hmm. and you want to move, you know, leaves around, you're working on mulch or, you know, you're weeding in your garden, you want something to throw it into and then right. move it over to an area. These will have a, a vinyl bucket and a single wheel and then it folds flat hmm. and then hangs up. So they're pretty cool. A couple of these that I looked at, they had a 80 pound weight limit. Really? So, so pretty heavy duty for, mm -hmm. you know, something that can be folded up. Because like we talked about before, it's hard to store these. Yeah. A regular wheelbarrow. Right. Because if it's on your side, you still have to deal with the Right. In the legs. garage. Yeah. So, you know, another episode will be talking about building a shed. Oh, exciting. In, in, the, in the backyard. Yeah. It should be based on the size of your wheelbarrow. <laughs> You want to keep your wheels lubricated. So if the axle has a port for a grease gun, I would apply lithium grease to it every season, beginning of the season. For maintenance, if the body is metal, you want to keep it clean and dry. Mm -hmm. You want to sand any rust. And then I would hit that with like a rust spot primer or a rust paint. Right. Like Rust-Oleum does a nice job with some of that stuff. Just easy to spray it. I would use the spray cans. Mm -hmm. And then coat the body. In the beginning of the season, I would coat the body with silicone so dirt and debris doesn't stick to it as right, easy. Right. And it's also good for plastic wheelbarrows also. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of every season, I would always check the nuts and bolts too. Make sure that the frame is all connected while the handles are connected tight so you don't damage that. There's not that many parts with a wheelbarrow. No, it's nice. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. If you have pneumatic tires and you get a flat, you can actually fix the inner tube just like you would with a bicycle kit. Some inner tubes are expensive, so if you have one of these kits, you just remove the tire, pull that tube out. You'd want to inflate it and then submerge it under water to find the hole. Mm -hmm. You're going to mark it and then deflate it 
dry off the tire and then that kit's going to have either like a sandpaper or a reamer to rough up the surface. Mm -hmm. You're going to put glue over it and then check the label. Some want you to let that glue tack off before you put your patch on. Some don't. <laughs> and then put your patch on and easy way to repair an inner tube. Nice. What are some top rated wheelbarrows? So in most hardware stores you're going to find Ames True Temper. Mm -hmm. So it's A-M-E-S and they have a wide variety. Lifetime was rated very high. They have a two-wheel wheelbarrow that has a 550-pound capacity wow. and a very low center of gravity. They say that 85% of the load is on the wheels, mm -hmm. so it's very easy to carry a heavy load. And 100% of the wheelbarrow is made from recycled material. So if you're thinking about entering a wheelbarrow race, this is the one to go with? That's It's a good one, I would say. <laughs> it's It's fast. <laughs> Jackson wheelbarrows are rated very high. These are contractor grade for heavy duty use. Marathon has a two wheel wheelbarrow that was rated very high. United General mm -hmm. and Polar Trailer were rated very high. If you're purchasing a wheelbarrow and it comes in parts, make sure you get all the parts. Like a lot of times they don't take the handles with them. Right. <laughs> yeah, so you'll have a box, a cardboard box, and mm -hmm. you'll have the main body and, and the frame. Right, and but the wheels. Right, and then you need to ask, are the handles in here? Right. Because many of them, the handles are separate. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're buying it, let's say, from a large display, right. make sure you grab your handles. <laughs> <laughs> if you're primarily working in your garden, a cart may be more versatile and easier to maneuver for you. You can get two-wheel carts. They basically look like a wheelbarrow. Or you can get a four-wheel cart that looks kind of like a wagon. Mm -hmm. And the wagon style, you're going to have a handle in front, so you're pulling this, and then those front wheels turn, just like you know a kid's red radio flyer. Yeah. <laughs> and these are great for moving you know, bags, bulk, compost, soil, plants. Mm -hmm. You can load this up with weeds and debris if you're moving that. It's really convenient if you have a lot of watering cans that you load mm -hmm. up to move around or gardening tools. Well, they're much smaller than a regular wheelbarrow, and it's easier to store. Right. With a cart, you want to think about the size and weight of what you're going to be moving and then what type of terrain because, you know, your tires, if you want pneumatic, some of them have plastic tires mm -hmm. or rubber tires. If you're just using it for light loads and occasional use, some of these lightweight plastic models do a really nice job. Mm -hmm. If you plan on doing a frequent heavy loads, then you're probably looking for something that's rated heavy duty, probably all metal. Mm -hmm. A couple of the top rated two-wheel carts, Rubbermaid has a commercial cart, and this is just a big plastic tub, mm -hmm. and it only weighs 13 pounds. Oh, really? And it's kind of a wheel wheelbarrow style. It has plastic wheels. Mm -hmm. Polar Trailer, they have a variety of styles. Some look like a wheelbarrow. Some look like a baby buggy. So they have like really <laughs> big uh, spoked tires on right, the sides. Yeah. yeah, pretty wild looking. Works, this Works Aero Cart is pretty wild. So Works, W-O-R-X. This is a two-wheeled cart that converts from a wheelbarrow style to a cart to a dolly. No way. So it, <laughs> so it has this foot on front that folds out. So if you want to haul loads like a tree mm -hmm. and you're putting this big pot in there or refrigerator, you can use it just like you would a two-wheel dolly. Right, yeah. And then it lays flat if you want to use it like a cart. So it's pretty wild. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting to look at. Mm -hmm. And then it has these two arms that pull out and there's a sling that you can attach stuff like a stone. You can wrap it around. Let's say you want to move a big landscaping stone. Interesting. And then you lever this up and move it. So it's, it's pretty wild. It has a 300-pound capacity. So it's like three things in one. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Marathon, they have a residential garden cart that was rated very high for a two-wheeler. In four-wheel garden carts, Gorilla Carts was rated very high, and they have steel and poly beds. With their poly bed, they have a dump feature, so the whole bed tips backwards for easy dumping. And their polys are rated at 600 pounds. Their steel beds are 1,200 pound capacity. Wow. So, so pretty fascinating. Sandusky has steel and poly models that are rated very high. Precision Garden Cart has a large plastic tub. Mm -hmm. And then Farm and Ranch, Northern Tool, and Sandusky Lee all have these steel frame carts with removable mesh beds. Hmm. And they were rated very high. If you have a lawn tractor, you should look for a cart that you can attach to the tractor. Some of them well, are... of course you would look for that. <laughs> so it's a nice feature. Mm -hmm. And then you can also get these lawn carts that have lids and it turns into a seat. Mm -hmm. So really handy for gardening. Yeah. And the top rated in those kind of garden cart seat variety is Suncast and Ames. 
With the garden carts, they are very convenient for storing all your tools, your garden tools. Yeah, that's smart. You know, when you're going to plant your flower beds, let's say, yeah, you put your the flats of flowers into the cart. Right. You put your tools. Some of them are they have two decks. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can yeah, put like your soil and stuff underneath, ah, and smart. all the flowers are pots on top. Right. So very convenient. Yeah. Makes all, everything faster. Right. <laughs> During a party, you can turn your wheelbarrow into a big cooler. Just fill it with ice and put all your bottles into it. Nice. So you get more use out of your wheelbarrow. You yeah, can put you can a use you, it as a planter too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when you're going to retire it, mm-hmm. just turn it into a planter. Just park it in the middle of your yard. Make a fire pit out of it. <laughs> just throw your firewood in there and throw a match on it, man. There you go. Great for a party. Do you have anything else to add? I'd say before you buy a wheelbarrow, think about the use it's going to have. If you're just going to use light use, it might be worth getting a plastic one. Mm-hmm. You know, what area are you going in? Think about your terrain for the type of wheels you want. Where are you going to store it if you have to build a shed? Right. <laughs> and then your handles. I would try it out at the store mm-hmm. and get a feel for it. You know, low handles versus a higher handle. Right. And then with a cart, you know, is it a you want a push type or a pull type? So you can get those two wheel carts that you're pushing, mm-hmm. which sometimes it get you know depending on your soil and your terrain, you can get that jammed into the dirt. Sometimes it's easier to pull a mm-hmm. wagon. So just some of the things to think about before you purchase. And then keep it clean. Yeah, and maintain it. Let's wrap this up. You can subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, the Spotify mobile app, and the Google Play Music mobile app. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our book, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know, on Amazon. And we're in the process of writing book three. So get book two. Very exciting. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week. Do you be a bit